their number state governorship candidates of the All Progressives Congress, Andy Uba, the All Progressives Grand Alliance, Chikuma Soludu, and Valentine Ozibo of the People's Democratic Party PDP have expressed their views about the agitations and detention of the indigenous people of Biafra, Namdekano. The candidates spoke during an election debate on Monday organized by the Arise TV. According to Ozibu, the PDP candidate Kano, the detained IPOP leader, was a product of leadership failure. Soludogu was the governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria during the tenure of former President Oluse Gobasanjo also said, I am on record speaking. I visited Namdekano in 2016 in Kujay prison with prominent people to ask for his release in line with the court's order. Dialogue is the best solution to the hip-hop issue. Noting that hip-hop deserves to be heard, dialogue is the right thing, he said. However, Ozibo said that Kanu is a product of leadership failure. He also called for dialogue and Kanu's release. He pointed out that there were certain things about hip-hop that he did not support, such as the group's extremism. Meanwhile, Uba asserted that he believed in engagement, stressing that the agitation was as a result of joblessness. Uba declined supporting or condemning the group. He said engagement was the right step to take. Hypop had declared a one-week sit-at-home protest across the South East states starting from November 5th, the eve of Anambra governorship election. The group said the protest was aimed at prevailing on the Nigerian government to release Namdekano. It vowed that protests, the protest would go on as planned if Kano was not released before November 4th. Kano is facing trial on a seven counts amendment, amended charge bordering on the treason and terrorism. The Nigerian government had blamed the IPOP leader of the, for the murder of Dr. Chike Akunili, the husband of a former director general of the National Agency for Food and Drug Administration and Control, late Professor Dora Akunyele. The presidential committee set up by the president had also accused Kanu of being responsible for the murder of a presidential aide, Ahmad Gulag, and over 140, 184 others in the southeast. Hmm. You can imagine. <laughs> uh, all of those charges, eh? Those sounds are by, by the wayside. More so, these guys are just trying to play to the gallery so that the people can come out or they will be impressed to tell their people to come out or to cancel the seat at home order. That is the reason why they are saying all of this. Believe you me, once they get in there, mm, they will not, nothing will be heard again. No? They won't say anything. You know, they are the ones talking now because they need something. The ones that are governors. They have not spoken so much. They have not spoken so loud the way they ought to have spoken because if they had done the needful, believe you me, all of these problems wouldn't have escalated to what we have now. That is it. All is just politics. Our one and only dialogue is justice. Martin Amdekanu must be released unconditionally on or before November 4th. But Buhari government is not ready to do that. You can imagine what uh, Loretta Onoche is saying. Calling him a monster. That he cannot be released. Even Buhari is saying that, uh, oh, how do you expect those? Who... Hey, you can imagine Buhari can even say that uh, the people who have been killed as a result of what Namdi Kano did. That, is, that would be an injustice. But you are pardoning Boko Haram. You are telling us that they have repented. And people are saying, what about the victims? What of those who are in IDP camps? What have you done about them? He's not saying anything. But when it comes to other people, oh my goodness, Buari will begin to tell you all manner of cock and boo stories. Okay. No dialogue on Titanam de Kanu is released from detention. Why are they involving IPOP in their election? After all, IPOP has removed every bit of business they have in the election. They should go about their lawful business. How can you dialogue with Namde Kanu? He is in detention. Release him first. Someone should laugh with me. Small. They should release him first too. Oh my goodness. Uh, they all responded to the question diplomatically. 
diplomatically the response to it. I see no reason why I, I see no reason for dialogue with these uh, people, but you can dialogue with a uh, terrorist people, the bandits. You can t uh, give them all manner of things. You see how hypocritical this a uh, our side people can be. Oh, this one is a bandit, a terrorist. You can imagine unity beggars. Why do you want to dialogue with terrorists? No election. Simple. If you don't want election, if you don't want to dialogue with him, that means there's no election. Then Musa come do the election. I think all your armies are on the ground. But come do the election. Come and do the election since you know get a sense. You know get sense. That is how the reason you can imagine. Hmm. Somebody should come and help him house. Everybody just playing to the gallery. All these things that we are talking back and forth. They are just simple things. But some people have already purported their hearts to the devil. They don't want other other or well, they don't want to see other succeeding they don't want to see other happy they don't want to see other rejoicing but they just want to be at the top the rest people can be beneath and at the end of the day whatever that is in the country it is a collective effort it is not by one person but a situation whereby somebody is feeling that uh, yes i'm the one in charge and at the end of the day they can't be there forever just like some people have been saying they cannot be there forever unfortunately because of their greed simple thing that we we are supposed to be talking about oh people should be talking about nigeria just like they always talk about oh our unity our number our diversity this and this and that what are we doing with all of those things nothing nothing we are supposed to be talking about how to move this country forward that nigeria should be envy of all other nations with all of the things that we have but it's a lie it is a lie all this problem we are facing all of these troubles here and there. We have no business with them if really we have the right people in place. When you have people who, who are not who do not have a, the same agenda or the kind of agenda that Buhari has, all those ones they will be there stealing. Some people their agenda is just to steal. Steal, 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 steal and steal until they are tired. They, but unfortunately, when it comes to the chiefs that we have in Nigeria who are at the end of affair, they don't get tired. They prefer to even waste it rather for them to see people enjoying. They will waste it. They will. It's so, so, so bad. Free Namdekano give us referendum dates. That is what people are saying. Ah, they will say, oh, a lot of Igbos are not interested in all this IPOB. They let there be referendum. If they win, if the people say we want to be part of uh, Nigeria, go, go down fine. They, they, everybody will rest. But you don't want to do the needful. It's unfortunate. So guys, let's say your opinion and have your take concerning what these three gentlemen have said.